good afternoon to you all students a warm greetings to you all so hi students how are you i hope you all are fine so have you all revised uh, 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 yesterday's portion have you all studied till yesterday's portion so things we are teaching please don't ignore study daily portion okay yes so welcome to our today's online class so till now we have studied how many chapters we have completed four chapter is indeed so what are the chapters you have studied functions data types then algorithmic strategy scoping is indeed so four chapters already you have completed so so today we are going to study about <coughs> one new chapter called python variables and operators so this year starting online class starting itself i said you are going to study a new programming language called python isn't it so be interest in study computer science subject why means so day to day we need to update our knowledge not like other subjects we are going to update our knowledge based on our world's development okay so day day to day introduce new and new things new inventions new languages and everything so based on that you are going to update your knowledge okay so lot of programming languages are there year by year they will introduce new new and newer things and newer languages so based on that you need to update your knowledge based on their introductions likewise so last year you have studied one important programming language called what c++ isn't it or not you all are thorough in la that language i think it so isn't it so <clears throat> please be listen carefully study thorough these things are very very useful for your higher studies and also for your future jobs because you are a computer science students so mostly you will choose your future career as a engineer maybe engineering or any other computer courses so in your future jobs this programming languages will help some more so please listen carefully so that basement from here only you are going to study okay so shall we enter into our chapter <clears throat> yes so before we are going to study about our chapter in detail first just we need to know about the introduction about your python programming language okay so so which language you are going to study python so be interest make a interest to study this language okay don't think this is a burden so make interest to study so which language you are going to study python so python is a general purpose programming language okay what do you mean by general purpose programming language means you can able to design software games applications lot of things that means generally what are the things they need to design all the things you can able to design by means of which programming language python understand that's the meaning of python programming language so that's a we are calling python as a which programming language general purpose programming language so this programming language is created by one person who means what's the name of that person means guido van rossum okay who invented this uh, <clears throat> python programming language the person name called guido van rossum from where he invented means cwi what's the meaning of cwi means centrum visquinte and informatia what's the meaning of cwi centrum visquinte and informatia what's that mean what's a cwi means nothing but it's one of the research institute okay it's a one of the research institute that institute is uh, used to, to research maths mathematics as well as computer science so cwi research institute is used to for research purpose for researching for what are the things they are research for mathematics as well as computer science okay so this research institute is located in which place netherland okay so this cwi research institute located in which place netherland 
okay so please underline this things this things they will ask for sometimes they will ask for one word questions okay so who invented this uh, python programming language guido van rossum from which place centrum wiskunya uh, informatia the what's the uh, what's the name what do you mean by dcwi it's one of the research institute this institute is used to for researching purpose for what the subject mathematics as well as computer science okay so this research institute is located in which place netherland okay so here this language was released in which year they have released this language means 1991 okay in which year they have released this uh, python programming language 1991 very very important one more question okay <clears throat> so they have invented this language and also okay. they have released this language in year what uh, next step they need to give some new names for that language so what are the inventions what are the things they have invented so each and everything they will give new new names isn't it likewise this programming language also they need to give one new name okay for that they are searching names that man went to a one important or most popular one comedy series show okay what's the name of that show means monty python flying circus okay by that name their name having what python so that man related to, uh, thinking that related to that name he invented one language programming language no see he has giving <clears throat> name of that programming language is python understand so he was giving the invention of his programming language called python by saying this comedy show okay so this python programming language also <coughs> supported two approaches what are the approaches means procedural as well as object oriented programming approach okay what do you mean by procedural procedural means last chapter you have studied no algorithm likewise based on that what are the things you need to implement step by step you can implement based on that that's procedural okay and object oriented what do you mean by object oriented programming object oriented programming already you have studied thorough in c++ what are the concepts you have studied in object oriented programming main thing is class structure array so this programming language this python also support this all object oriented programming approaches understand so what are the things uh, <clears throat> you have studied introduction for who invented guido van rossum from which research center cwi so the research center located in which place netherland so this language was released in which year 1991 so he has invented this language and has given the name as python from which one popular show names called monty python's flying service circus from that he has named his programming as python so this program support both procedural as well as object oriented understand shall we move to the next slide <clears throat> so listen this is one of the important three mark question okay key features of python so what is so they he has invented language what are the important features are there in this python programming language okay so this is a, already i said this is a general purpose programming language okay so this language is used for two kinds of programming what are they means both scientific as well as non scientific programming okay so <clears throat> this uh, general purpose programming language is used for two kinds of programming what are they scientific programming as well as non scientific programming what's the meaning of that one means scientific programming means nothing but that means based on research things research based things also they can use this programming language to design and non scientific programming what do you mean by non scientific programming normal uses to design applications to define softwares to design games that's a normal non scientific programming okay so this python programming language supports two kinds of programming what are they scientific as well as non scientific next thing is a it's a platform independent programming language what's the second point platform independent what's the meaning of this platform independent means so 
So before we are going to study about in platform independent, you need to know what do you mean by platform. <coughs> so what's the platform or which uh, which platform you are installing this software? Which platform support all the softwares in your computer? What's the platform or which pl which is the platform for supporting all the softwares? Already you have studied the things in eleventh standard. What's the platform? OS operating system. <clears throat> okay, what's a platform support all the softwares? OS operating system. So already you have studied lot of the operating systems. What are they? Maybe Windows XP, Windows Seven, Windows Eight, Windows Ten, Linux, Ubuntu, etc., etc. Lot of softwares or lot of OS is there. <clears throat> okay, so this is platform independent programming language. What do you mean by platform independent? So whatever OS you may be used, so it will support all the OSs. Maybe it will be Windows XP, Windows Seven, Ubuntu, or Linux. Okay, so it will support all the platforms or all the OSs. Okay, so this Python programming language is a platform independent. Can you understand what do you mean by platform independent? So whatever platform or whatever OS you are using, all the OSs it will support. Understand? That's the second point. So third point is this program you can able to read easily and you can able to understand easily. So compared to C plus plus program, last year we have studied no C plus plus program. So compared to that C plus plus program, this Python programming language is very very easy. You can easily like this manually, just like a theory only it will be like that. So by reading itself you can understand what's the thing, what what they have mentioned in the programming. So this Python programming language is. easy to read and you can easily understand okay so this year you are using this python programming language so you need to install one software called python idle okay which software you are using for typing python programming language python idle okay so which version you are using means version 3.x So what's the version you are using? This is one of the important one more question. Please note it down. Take a textbook. What are the things I said? Important questions. So maybe one mark, two mark, or three mark. At the time itself, you mark it and study. Okay. This is one of the important one mark question. So which version you are using? Version three point six Python Idle. What do you mean by Idle? Means Integrated Development Learning Environment. So this platform only you are going to. type or develop your python code and you are going to get your outputs this is a important three mark question features of python programming language so how many features you have studied four what are they first it will serve this is a general purpose programming language it will support two kinds of programming what are they scientific as well as non scientific next thing is a platform independent what do you mean by platform independent so it will support all the oss What are the OSs? Whatever OSs you are installed in your systems, maybe Windows XP, Windows Seven, Windows Ten, um, Ubuntu, Linux, etc. All the OSs it will support. Okay, then you can easy to this programming language is easy to read and you can easy to understand. So which version you are using this year? Version three point six Python Idle. That means integrated development learning. This environment only you are going to type your Python codes. Okay. till now we have studied about introductions about your programming language called python next thing you are what's the use of uh, studying this programming language what's the use you need to program so next thing you are going to program in python okay so for programming in python the programs they are be written in two modes okay very very important there are two modes are there to write the this python programs what are the mode mean interactive mode and script mode how many modes are there to uh, write this python programs two modes what are they means interactive mode as well as script mode okay important two mark question so this what's the difference means interactive mode you can you are going to write the program directly in the command prompt okay so what's the use of interactive mode in interactive mode you are going to directly write the program in which place command prompt okay so immediately after writing the program you are taking the result okay so if you are typing the program in interactive mode one symbol this is a symbol what is the symbol means three greater than symbol is it visible for you 
this greater than symbol will be displayed at the top of the screen then if you are going to work in interactive mode means you can able to identify so if this symbol three greater than symbol is if you are seen in that particular screen if you are seen this three greater than symbol at the top of the screen means you can able to understand so you are working in which mode interactive mode okay that's a um, use of what with interactive mode next slide you are going to study detail about this mode okay next thing is script to mode okay script to mode is nothing but in script to mode similar to that what already you have studied in c++ program okay in script to mode you are going to type the program in separate file what in c++ program you will do you are going to type the pro what software in 11th standard you have studied tarao about c++ language isn't it so in lab practicals where you have typed your c++ program which software we are using are you remembering dev c++ isn't it so what's the so what are the steps you follow to type the program first you will open dev c++ program then you will type the program then save the file then compile run it and get the output same that mode only we are calling as an script to mode same thing only we are following here also which mode in script to mode understand so script to mode we are going to write the programs in separate file okay separate file means for example learn standard practical program consider the first program so first program you are going to type first lab hour you are typing the first program and you are saving the file so next day you are coming to the lab and next day you are opening the first program file so that file is called as what source file or programming file or text file so that's a separate file so first program you are saving in first what separate file then second program you are stored in second file third means third file understand what do you mean by separate file yes so in script to mode the programs can be written and stored in a separate file next important thing so python program if you are typing and saving means the python program needs to save with the extension .py okay what's the extension used to save this python program .py so what's the extension for saving c++ program last year dot cpp likewise python program what's the extension for saving this python program means dot py understand very very important one more question what's the extension used to for saving python program is dot py then you are going to after saving the file you are going to execute the file and get the output okay so this mode you can able to type the program and you can able to edit the program also understand so we have studied programming in python in this slide so there are how many modes are there to type the program two modes what are they interactive mode as well as script mode so interactive mode means so at the top of the screen you can see this three greater than symbol okay this script mode you are can able to interactive mode directly you are going to type the program immediately you are getting the result but in script mode you are typing the program in separate file then you are saving the program with the extension .py and script mode you can able to create the file and edit the file understand so this slide onwards you are study detailed about one interactive mode programming okay so so listen in interactive mode programming already i said so in interactive mode programming directly you are going to type the program type the program immediately after you will the results will display so before we are going to study about this interactive mode programming so you should know the difference between interrupter as well as compiler okay what's a, what do you mean by interrupter and what do you mean by compiler so do you know what's the difference between interrupter and compiler so uh, for before going to study about interrupter just uh, know about compiler so in c++ program last year you have typed no what you will do first you will type the program then save the file then you will compile the program what's the use of compilation what's the use of compiler there to find the errors isn't it so if any error is there or not in that program that's the use of compiler so compiler if you compile the program the compiler will execute the program from line by line first line to till last then it will find the errors and if any error is there means 
it will display the result as error. If there is no error means it will give there is no error then you will run the program. That's the use of what? Compiler. Interrupter means interrupter no need to compile the programs. Okay. Immediately if, uh, if you are typing the program immediately after the results will display that means immediately after you will get the output. That's the use of interrupter. For that one simple example they are given like a simple calculator. For example, you are going to calculate 10 or 20 uh, numbers. That means a huge number. Complex calculations you will prefer whether you will uh, prefer the calculations by doing manually or by calculator. Calculator. Why? So if you type this uh, some uh, additions or subtractions or multiplication anything, immediately you will get the result. Immediately within a moment or within a second you can get the result. Likewise, in interrupter, so immediately if you are typing the program next to that line your the results will display just like a calculator okay so for that only they are given the line this mode can be used as a simple calculator understand yes next thing you are going to study about invoking python idle what's the meaning of invoking python idle means till now we have studied about introduction about your programming languages and the modes you are used for this programming okay invoking means what are the ways or how you are going to open the python in your system okay so which command you are using means first you need to click start button okay so in your uh, computer which button you need to click first you need to click start button then from start button you need to select all programs okay in start button which one you need to select all programs from all programs you need to select which software you are using which version python 3.x so you need to select python 3.x then inside that this python idle 3.x this is important two mark question sometimes they will ask for one mark also please mark it now okay so first what's the command used to open this python idle from where you need to go start button then all programs then python 3.x inside python idle this is a command or steps you are going to open python program okay next uh, another thing shortcut method is already if you are installed the software this python icon will be already located in your desktop what do you mean by desktop so if you are owning the system the first screen you are seen no that is called as desktop in desktop itself that particular icon will be there you no need to go inside start button all programs no need so simply you can double click and you got start the program understand so listen so once you got double click the python idle win that icon means immediately this screen will open is it visible for you so if you double click this python and that, that icon this screen will open so this screen is called python idle window screen what's the screen name python idle window screen okay so is it visible for you so listen the in this screen at the top one blue color portion is there that is called as which bar means title bar okay what's the bar name that uh, blue color bar that is called as title bar next to that blue color the light shade that violet color bar is called menu bar why we are calling that as a menu bar menus are there what are the menus file edit insert run help etc etc <clears throat> lot of menus are there so that one we are calling as an which bar menu bar understand so this window is called this portion is called command prompt that white color portion is there no that is called that we are calling as an which bar command prompt okay so listen so if you open that python that click this python idle window this screen will open so if this in this screen above the two lines will display that's a common okay so what the what are the things they are displayed there means which version you are using so uh, the license uh, that things that are the, the regarding the software that things it will display in two lines that leave it okay so if you are working in interactive mode means i said so that uh, command prompt will starts with this symbol have you seen it have you seen it three greater than symbol is it visible for you yes so if you have seen this three greater than symbol in this at the top of the first line mean top or first line of the screen mean so you need to know you are going to work in which mode interactive mode understand so this is which mode interactive mode 
what's the use of this symbol means this symbol will accept what are the inputs you are giving that means interrupter okay so i said no in this mode no need to compile the program if you type the program immediately after you will uh, get the result so what's the use of this symbol means so you are interrupter python that particular programming interrupter is ready to accept what are the things you are typing or what are the things you are giving us the input okay so then immediately after it will display the result okay what's the name of this one python prompt what's the name of this symbol python prompt understand understand this line so if you are going to type the program means after this symbol only you need to type the program okay so if you are typing the program in interactive mode means where you need to type the program after this symbol you need to type the program understand so see the next slide there are two examples they are given for your interactive mode programming so first example see it so have you seen so i said already i said if you are type the program in interactive mode after which symbol you need to type this three greater than symbol okay so listen i first they are given simple calculations what's the answer 5 plus 10 15 so immediately after i next line i have typed this as a input 5 plus 10 <clears throat> so immediately after the next line i'll get the output as 15 isn't it yes see this next example 5 plus 50 what's the meaning into 10 so this will computer will execute the operations based on precedence of operators have you studied this one precedence of operators in 11th standard what do you mean by precedence priority priority of operators okay so computer will take the operators as a precedence which will be executed for example in a particular programming plus minus uh, multiplication division this four operators are there so they already they have some priority or precedence so they first it will execute division operator then multiplication then addition and subtraction okay when programming language they will execute like that <clears throat> like this so this example listen 5 plus 50 into 20 so which operations or which one will be executed first this one 50 into 10 so so 50 into 10 what's the answer 500 then next operator 500 plus 5 what's the answer 500 and 5 so immediately after the next line i'll get the result so <clears throat> so if you need this explanation means by you take your book and near to this you write by your pencil 5 plus first you need to calculate 5 plus 500 then you will get 550 understand next thing 5 what's the meaning of this means square 5 square 2 5 into the, the how many times you need to square 2 10 5 into 5 what's answer 25 understand yes next thing next another one example they have given so what are the things you need to give us input after this three greater than symbol only you need to give so given inside the print command i am giving python programming language so what's the use of print command what's the use of print command whatever things i have given inside the print command it will display the same thing as a output whatever maybe it may numbers or scripts or or uh, variables or characters or anything so what's the thing i have given inside this print command python programming language so immediately after the next line i will get the output as python programming language understand so this is the next example see oh, this are the inputs what are the inputs i have given but the output won't be come as a this line okay the output won't be come uh, to this uh, symbol the output will be coming as a symbol line the symbol is not there okay see this in how many inputs i am giving x and y i am going to add this two numbers what are the numbers x plus y so listen what's the value of x now 10 what's the value of y now 20 so i am going to add this two numbers what are the numbers 10 and 20 so what's the output i will get 30 okay so i am going to store this two values in a variable called set so listen so i am going to store this two value that means the two variable 10 and 20 i am storing the results in new variable called what is set okay so i am giving the calculations in is an x plus y what's the value now x plus y 10 plus 20 equal to 30 so which variable i need to print whether x and y or is set which variable i need to print 
he said why so i am storing this value in add, adding this two numbers i am storing the result in which variable is set understand so inside the print i am giving the sum is set so all the inputs i am giving near to this prompt uh, prompt symbol but so in output what's output i will get in the sum what's value of is set 30 whether in output this symbol is there no understand so this is the examples for which mode interactive mode understood one time read this uh, program in your textbook you will get understand listen the same thing they are I have given in this interactive mode this is the python interactive mode window okay so listen so uh, first itself i said this window if you double click the python idle means this window will open so in this window so immediately first two what's the first two line i said that it regarding the software it will display some lines then after that say have you seen it this three greater than symbol that means prompt symbol this prompt symbol will display immediately after the same last slide i explained on program no same program they have i am typing here inside the print i am typing python programming language see listen carefully after that so i have typed only one line print python programming language after that what it will display as the output in the next line this python programming language understand yes this is the first program over next program listen x y z these are the things i am giving as an input so after this what output i need to get the sum whether this output uh, is uh, come near to this prompt symbol no so this program also over so listen this two program over next thing so next to this was a prompt symbol come at the next line so if i if i need to type the third program it's i need to type near so have you understand so if you have seen this symbol in this mode means you need to know so you are working in which mode interactive mode understand yes next thing you are going to study about script to mode program interactive mode over next thing you are going to study about which mode script to mode okay so this script to mode is a script is a text file okay script is a which file text file what do you mean by text file already i explained in detail uh, so the, for that only i explain so first program if you are typing me first program you are going to type in a separate file uh, this uh, for example on the standard that lab practical i said no same so first program you are typing in a first file second program you are typing in a second file so first day you are coming to the lab you are type you are get the output second day also you are going to open that particular code what you will do open that particular file and you will execute that's a text file understand so script is a script mode script is a text file containing python statements what do you mean by python statements nothing but the program you are typing no that is called as what python statements okay so next thing is this scripts are reusable code what do you mean by reusable code for example first program i have typed on 10 lines the same 10 lines i need to um, insert or i need to insert that same 10 lines in another program also so i can able to copy that 10 lines from that first program i can able to paste that in another one program i am going to use that same line that is called as a reusable code how many times i need based on that i can able to reuse okay how many times i need based on my wish i can able to reuse it okay then so in this script in script mode you can able to type your program in there and you can able to execute it again and again without retyping what's the meaning of this mean for example as uh, the same example you think first program you have typed you are executed in first day itself so after two days you need to execute the same program whether you need to retype the program no because why already you have saved the file there so it just you open the file you need to execute you'll get the output no need to retype the program that only they are given no need to retype it again but in interactive mode not like that so the same program you need to uh, get the output again mean again you need to type okay interactive mode you need to type the program again and again you will need to get the output here no need to retype the program script here the scripts are editable what do you mean by editable so based on your wishes some errors are there means you can able to edit the code open the file and edit the code understand so what are the things you have studied in script mode so in this script you can able to 
type the uh, one of the separate uh, text file you can able to type the code here you can able to reuse the code once the script is uh, created means you can able to execute uh, according to your wish you can able to execute again and again no need to retype again you can able to edit the programs also so listen so listen carefully this one so from this script to mode only you are following for your 12th practical programs okay so please listen carefully what are the things i have explained the same thing only you are going to open for your practical programs okay same and uh, not a uh, this is uh, not a uh, very toughest one same thing uh, same uh, c++ programming follow no same thing only okay listen carefully so listen here first what you need means this is the if you just double click the python icon what you will do you will get one screen that is called as python screen this is called a python screen you are going to open one fresh page or new page for typing your program okay for that what you will do first you need to click file menu which menu you need to click file menu so you need to open one fresh new page for that which one which option you need to select new file okay first you need to click file icon in that file icon you are going to select which file menu file menu or what's the shortcut of a new file control n this already you know in already you know i think it's so in c++ program also you will do the same same thing only so you are going to open a new file or fresh page means click the file menu then select new file icon what's the shortcut for new file control n understand if you click that one the fresh page will open this is the fresh page that means untitled untitled whether you have given any name for this page no so that only we are calling as an untitled blank page understand so this page only you are going to type your programs in which mode script mode whether any greater than symbol is there no so if that is three greater than symbol is that mean prompt symbol is there means you are working in which mode in write to mode here if the blank screen is there you are going to type the program in which mode script to mode understand yes listen so now i am going to type my program in that python page so listen so this one simple example already i explained no one program x y z same only they are given in another one variable i am going to type the simple program in this python okay what's the value a equal to 100 b equal to 350 c equal to i am going to add this two numbers what are the numbers a, a and two variables a and b what are the numbers 100 plus 350 then print in printing the sum in the print i am need to print which variable c so same code i have typed i have typed uh, this program in python script what's the first step you need to open a fresh page for that which icon you need to press file new file after that you need to type the code so i have typed what's the next step in same as a c program what's the next step you need to save the file what's the use of save if you save the file means only you can able to open on uh, next day or day after next day how many times you need to open you can able to open for that you need to save the file yes to save the file which option you need to click file save okay you need to go where in file menu select which one save button if you save this it means your file will be saved that means they will ask for one dialog box what's the shortcut for saving the file control yes understand what's the shortcut for saving the file control yes understand yes so if you click this save button this dialog box will open <clears throat> okay if you click this save button this dialog box will open what's the use of this dialog box mean listen so it will ask for the file name so you need to give one file name for this one maybe any one uh, in this example they have given the file name as demo1 what's the file name they have given demo1 is it visible for you next important thing you need to save the file name with the extension called .py okay which ex ex extension you need to save .py c program uh, same only in c program what you will do what you will do save the file name with the extension .cpp so what's the what's the use of this extension if you save the file name with the extension mean your system can able to identify so this is the python file py means system can able to identify this is python file 
dot cpp means system can able to identify this is a c++ file understand that's the use of extension so here i am giving the file name with the extension py okay so what's the use of this one for saving the python file next thing next they are save as type is it visible in that place you need to select python files okay why you are running which file python file so so while well, already uh, if you are given dot py means uh, default itself it will display python files only sometimes if it is not displayed means you need to select which one for save as type as python files understand so inside which folder you need to save means python that means you are software for which was after you are using python 3 inside that python 3 python folder only you are going to save your program which folder that means file location which a file location python folder you are giving your file name and giving the file type as python file understand yes so the same thing whatever things i have explained they are given in theory so if that uh, if you save the file that dialog box will appear in that dialog box you need to give the file name then the default what's the default extension dot py uh, if you are given the python files itself default it will saved as a dot py only sometimes if it not saved means you should give the extension dot py okay after that you need to save the file means which button you need to click save button okay then so uh, now uh, first you have open the file you open a fresh page file new file then type the code then save the file so now your file has been saved what's the next step you need to run the file so here no need to compile the file directly you can run the file okay so listen for running the file so that same page file that which of menu you need to click run menu same as a c++ program okay so in this run menu you need to choose which op which option run module what's the shortcut for run module means f5 what's the shortcut for run module f5 okay either you choose this option run module or you need to press f5 okay so now i am going to run this program if i click this program means this program will run so if this program is having any error means so if any error is there means some that particular error will be displayed in red color okay if this program has any error means particular error will be displayed in which color red color in this idle window then you need to go to again you to correct the errors what you need to go go to this page come to this page you need to correct the error again you need to save the file again you need to run same as a c program okay so if any error is there means the error will displayed in which color red color then to correct the errors you need to come to this page script page again you need to correct the error again you need to save that's the important things okay so if you are correcting the error each time you need to save the file then only you will get the correct output for saving what option you will do give file save or control yes again you need to execute the run the file understand listen so if there is no error means in this program there is no error no error means immediately after i will get the output see the output equal to 450 what the output i have given in program the sum equal to 450 if there is no error means in that screen this output screen this is the output screen okay in output window they have the given the, the the particular output will be display so what's the output 450 understand okay so the today's portion up to this enough so what are the things uh, you have studied so till the you know okay so today we have studied what are the things you have studied introduction about python programming language then how many modes you are using to uh, uh, program the python two modes interactive mode and script mode interactive mode you have studied interactive mode comes with three greater than symbol interactive mode no need to compile the program immediately after the results you can display then uh, which mode you are uh, uh, using for your practical program script mode script mode what are the things you need to do open the file type the program save the file then run the program if the error is there means it will run uh, show the error in red color codes correct the errors again save the program output will display okay so now itself please read this is very important for your practical don't skip it so tomorrow we can study to if five mark important five mark questions so now itself you can study 
please study the uh, remaining portions also up to chapter 4 please be thorough it's so, okay that uh, after completion of this chapter i'll mark all the question answers from chapter 1 to 5 thank you students thank you ananta